Please be seated. We have Margaret Hosack here, husband to John Hosack, who was being charged with murder against her own husband. I'll hear from the defendant's attorney. Yes, Your Honor. My client, Margaret Hosack, declares herself not guilty. I will now call Margaret Hosack to the podium for questioning. Okay, Mrs. Hosack, please state what happened. Thank you, Your Honor. Me and my husband were sound asleep in the, in the night. I woke up from the hearing the sound of two boards banging together. I jumped out of bed to see what it was, but all I saw was a flash of light. I heard my husband labored breathing and called out to the children, saying something is matter with Paul. Thank you, Mrs. Hosack. We have the doctor here who examined the wounds of Mr. Hosack. Doctor, can you please explain what you found? Thank you, Your Honor. I have examined Mr. Hosack hours of the incident and discovered two wounds on the right side of his head. One was a deep cut, five inches long and more than four inches deep. We believe it was made from a very sharp weapon. The second wound was inflicted by a blunt instrument, fracturing his skull and sending bone fragments into his brain. We declared Mr. Hussack deceased Sunday morning. Thank you, Doctor. Investigators have found a blood-stained axe under the granary a few yards from the farmhouse. Your Honor, we, that axe was used to slaughter turkey for Thanksgiving two days before. Control your client or I will hold her in contempt of court. We also have information that the dog was drugged with chloroform to keep him from barking with warning. The jury has come to a verdict. We the people of the jury find Mrs. Holstack guilty. By the power invested in me by the state of Indian Nola, I hereby sentence Mrs. Hosack life in prison with no bailouts. This court is dismissed. <laughs>